So during this video, Missy is doing a little research and enjoying nature and reminiscing about Jack London's short story, To Build a Fire. Uh, she's working on a video project a little bit for uh, her students. She's a fifth grade teacher and it's all about man versus nature. If you haven't read this story by Jack London, the man is actually just the character in the story. Like the man, you could tell there was a faint trail, but it stretched off into the distance. Without snowshoes, this would be a lot harder, breaking a trail like this. We've gotten to our lean-to. It's about 5 to 10 degrees out with nice light snow. It's been snowing most of the day at this point. And it's beautiful. Wow. Look at, this. Look at how deep the snow is. I do a snow angel, but we just got here. We've got a little daylight left, so I'll do one tomorrow maybe. We heard some chickadees already come welcome us. So we'll see if we find them later. Well, we've done a little unpacking. Uh, it's kind of a neat look. The snow. Is it snowing inside the lean-to? We've got our gear. Snowing, we're keeping it carefully. I just uncovered it so you can see a little bit what we brought today. Lots of warm gear for sure. Oh, yes, we have our down booties. Down booties. They're going to be so comfortable. Come back to cover it up. Get too Luckily, it's not not too windy, so you don't have to worry too too much. But we've arrived at our lean-to for the night, and the man on the trail in the Yukon surely would not have had this. At least in Jack London's story, he certainly did not have a lean-to shelter like we have here. But he would have had a lot of snow, and we absolutely have that. Check it out, how deep it is. There's nice, deep, fluffy snow. It's very cold out. It's between 5 and 10 degrees, maybe a little colder. I've got all my gear on, hat, gloves. I've got two pairs of them, like four layers underneath with the down layer, um, my warmer ski jacket, or whatever this is called, um, leggings, snowshoes. I've got a bag to collect wood in, 
my knife in case I need it for something. It looks a little different than the man in our Jack London story. I have my pack, my trekking poles. And then we've got some gear under here, which I'll show you later. And what will be a fire pit. It's just under a lot of snow. So this is our spot for the night. Valentine's Day, as only Joe and I would want it. It is. Can't see it probably. Whoops. But it's really snowing out. We've got a beautiful fire. Very romantic. Just about three or four degrees. And we're in our lovely little lean-to which we have all to ourselves. We even have candlelight back there in the corner. <laughs> Got our packs out. Cozy, cozy, cozy. It is about three or four degrees outside. And Joe and I are enjoying Valentine's Day with a little snowshoe overnight backpacking trip. And it's snowing, which you can't really see. So one thing we really like when we get into camp is changing out of the boot. And Joe has already got his nice down booties on. I'm going to take my boots off. And I'm going to keep mine in the lean-to. And I'm going to remember to open up the laces enough uh, so that... They're easy to get into in the morning when they're stiff and cold, even though they'll be in the bottom of my sleeping bag, probably. We're getting really close to zero degrees, so they'll be stiff no matter what. But, uh, getting on the booties and the comfiness. Ah, oh, yeah. That's it. Now we're in business. In the story, the man decides to build a fire under spruce trees that have, um, in, the boughs are full of snow, and he talks about the avalanche of snow that happens. While this is a very small example of a tree that has snow, there's a little cavity that one might decide to build a fire because it's a little concealed, but as you can see, the avalanche of snow that happens to the man would certainly happen here, and thus not a good place to build a fire. There goes my partner, my husband, but I definitely have a partner in these kind of, this weather. It's not only fun, but it's safe too. 
All right. It's about negative three, negative five, something like that. So I'm going to keep moving. Yep, it's pretty cold out here. I think what the man might have gone through in our story. How he had his amber beard that kept growing. But I've got, let's see, two base layers of wool, of merino wool. I've got cashmere, thick cashmere sweater on, a down vest, and a down jacket. Down vest and a down jacket. And mittens. And a balaclava, a wool balaclava, a nice wool hat. And I'm pretty toasty. And now I'm walking, so my feet are not very cold at all, but if I were to stop a little bit longer and not move, I would get really cold really quickly. Um, in fact, I know that my fingers taking the camera in and out makes them pretty cold. Uh, it is negative three, negative five, something like that. It's hard to tell. Um, and with the wind chill, and it is blowing. Uh, makes it even colder, probably negative 10 or something like that. So it's good to keep moving and keep a pace up um, so your body temperature doesn't go. It stays nice and constant and you're nice and cozy. All right, off we go. Uh, we're headed out, so maybe a little bit more footage. Bye. Now this is something more like what the man might have built his fire under. And as you can see, I just tap it, look what happens. All of that comes off. Extinguishing any fire that you might have under there. The cracking you hear are the trees swaying quite windy. Okay, so look out for the second part of this video. It includes our dinner that we cooked and some tips on that. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. And try to give us a thumbs up if you like our videos. And check out our other links. Check out our website. We have a 
We have some products in our store and we'll have t-shirts in the future. Yeah, check it out. I'll see you guys next time.